In today's video, 5 million zombies are spotted on the tundra. They're moving quickly to encircle a forward operating base commanded by 2,000 Salamander Space Marines. The Salamanders quickly start to fire at their approaching enemy, but they are a very small force compared to 5 million zombies, though their weapons are extremely strong and they have very good health. But they need to hold out, because if they do hold out against these 5 million zombies, they will be able to warn the Space Marines below the mountain in a larger fortress that is supported by this forward operating base. Down at that fortress below is a meeting of all the different Space Marine legions in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. These salamanders are just a recon unit, making sure that the territory is clear, but with the zombie army suddenly charging them, they need to survive in order to warn the Space Marines below. And if the Salamanders can survive this initial onslaught of 5 million zombies, then the Space Marines below will get double the number of troopers that they are supposed to get in the battle. But if they do not manage to warn them, then the Space Marines below will be caught off guard by millions more zombies and monsters. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 Warhammer 40k mod in the future. Either way, right now the Salamander Space Marines are fighting for their lives against a multitude of zombies. Again, these guys are pretty strong. They do have 8,000 health apiece, and they can one-shot pretty much any zombie with their rifles here. Uh, and they're pretty fully automatic. I mean, they're spraying and praying out here, baby. But the zombies are getting close enough in order to get swings on the salamanders and take little bites out of them. Right now, we have 55,000 dead zombies, zero dead salamander space marines. So they are holding out nicely, but more and more zombies are encircling and coming from all over to trap these guys and prevent them from getting the message to the space marine fortress below that there are zombies inbound. So later in this video, after this battle, depending on its outcome, we are going to have every Space Marine Legion versus an even bigger army of zombies. It'll be epic. If you guys do enjoy these videos, hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and do a quick time lapse here because this is just a little appetizer of a battle. This is not the full show. So let's, uh, yeah, time lapse this. You can see the numbers at the top right right now. 80,000 dead zombies, zero dead salamanders, uh, and those numbers will increase as the battle goes on here at the top right of the screen. Let's start time lapse number one, and the outcome of this battle, again, will reflect the next battle that we see in this very same video with every Space Marine Legion. Let's get it. All right, we're about to cross into 500,000 dead zombies, which is pretty impressive considering only 45 dead Space Marine Salamanders. So I think, oh, whoops. I think they will be able to do this. I, I genuinely do. Um, I, I think I underestimated the the Space Marines, which, uh, you know, that should be a rule of thumb in Warhammer. Never underestimate any Warhammer unit ever. Uh, so, yep. 10% of the total zombie units are dead, 50 salamanders are dead. Let's get bird's eye view this time around and, and keep her going, but it's looking like uh, the full force of the Space Marines will be there times two, so let's see. This battle is still going. It's been a half an hour. There's a lot of zombies to go through, baby. 217 dead salamanders. So about 10%, a little over 10% of their force. Meanwhile, 1.2 million dead zombies, which is about 20% of their force. So pretty crazy numbers thus far. Lots of dead on the battlefield. Let's just keep her going because this is still just part one, baby.
All right, boys, even more time has passed. 1.5 million, almost 1.42 million dead zombies, 279 de dead salamanders. I don't want to use all of our time-lapse uh, footage space on the first battle, so I'm just going to let it ride for a while until we have our victor. But as you can see, the body pile is enormous now. <sighs> let's, uh, let's just go ahead and let it ride, baby. All right, boys, we are now at 2.25 million dead zombies on the battlefield. 2.35 million remaining on the battlefield, 523 dead salamanders, uh, 1,131 of them remaining on the battlefield. So the body pile has grown significantly and uh, the bodies are sliding inside now, which is kind of crazy to look at. Uh, I mean, it's still going on. We're building basically a zombie volcano here. Let it, let it ride, baby, let it ride. We'll see what happens in a few, probably an hour, I don't know. Alright guys, an hour later and we have ourselves 548 salamanders remaining and 41,000 zombies remaining. So salamanders obviously managed to do it. They built one heck of a body pile right here. That's absolutely insane. So we're going to go ahead and shift over to the next battle. The remaining salamanders are obviously going to be able to beat up 39,000, but this has been playing for a while and I just want to move on. So let's roll to the next battle. Alright guys, so here's the Space Marine setup I had, each with a thousand soldiers minus the Iron Hand and the tanks. However, because the Salamanders managed to defend, they now get double all of their units. So they each get 2,000, uh, they get 1,000 Iron Hands, and then we're going to keep the tanks the same because I don't want the battle to lag. But there you go, there's the reward for the Salamanders holding out. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. All right, gamers, just under 9 million zombies are coming forward to attack the Space Marine Legions up here. I did have to get rid of the 50 tanks a piece. They only get 10 because they were causing too much lag, sadly. However, here is the Iron Hand at the front lines over this way. Then we've got the Legion of the Damned in the uh, front over there. We've got the Soul Drinkers over this way. The Salamanders that survived over here. Uh, the Blood Angels in the back over here. And the Ultramarines right there. Every Space Marine Legion in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 against 9 million zombies coming forward. So, a total of uh, 14 million zombies over the course of this battle, which is absolutely crazy. Except now we're getting into variations. I did add some Urukai just for fun over here. Zombified Urukai, of course. Undead Abominations over this way, along with burned zombies over here. Uh, over this way, we have the military zombies. These guys are seriously scary, but they are going up against. Space Marines, which tend to be some of the deadliest units in all of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. So, it's going to be tough no matter what. Uh, some German zombies over this way from World War II. Uh, fast zombies over here. Vanilla zombies, except they have uh, modifications to them to make them super fast. Uh, zombie creatures over here, which is like a creature that got zombified. Um, there's more Urukai over here. Skeleton warriors as well. Just some spookified monsters and such to go up against the space marines out here. There should also be a series of trolls. Yes, indeed, we've got trolls over here. I think there's one more zombie unit all the way back this way. I did promise a lot of zombie units. And yes, the zombie women are over this way too. Girl power, baby. Undead girl power. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, the fortress is beginning to make the battle lines here. Lots of outgoing fire. It's not just the salamanders now. And each of these different Warhammer units does have different bolt action 
blasters or bolt rifles or I can't remember what they're called. Uh, but the ultramarines here have a lot of health and they also have explosive fire, which is devastating. Um, these uh, blood angels are dual wielding over this way, so they have really good fire rate. Salamanders, we've seen. Uh, the soul drinkers are very similar to the salamanders, to be honest with you. And the Legion of the Damned, who isn't in combat just yet, has an actual warhammer uh, and it shoots lightning too, which is pretty cool. Over here, I think these things are called Warhounds, I want to say. I can't remember exactly. Or War Sentinel, something like that. Uh, but they have like a shotgun, flechetta type round. Uh, of course, the Iron Hand over here uh, is equipped with the Chain Sword, which is just so baller. So far, 51 dead Warhammer units. I think all of those are probably coming from the Iron Hand up here since they are in melee combat right now. Um, but 440,000 dead Zombies. Oh, look at this. One of the tanks over here has gone down. I did want to do 50 tanks of each uh, style, but sadly, again, it was just a little bit too laggy to actually have that work with so many zombies on the battlefield and stuff like that. Tanks tend to cause a lot of lag because they're like the largest style of unit um, and they have intricate parts and stuff like that. So for whatever reason, they tend to lag the game a lot more than your standard unit and I guess that kind of makes sense but either way these guys are going pretty crazy I think this side of the battlefield is definitely the most at threat side right now the salamander is going up against a whole bunch of undead abominations right now coming straight at them but managing to destroy a number of them the entrance over here with the blood angels doing sort of the same thing they seem to be handling it a little bit better from what I can tell they've taken less damage over here Urukai surrounding these boys on the corner the body piles will sort of make the gates obsolete I'll be honest because uh, you know they'll be able to sort of pile over the gates <laughs> which yeah makes some sense right there oh is this skeleton warriors over here getting in and the trolls the trolls will be interesting because you know they will do big damage but if they swing their uh, troll hammers they also cause units to fly every which way so if they do that uh, we could have these guys flying all around the map and stuff like that uh, which could be fairly brutal. Uh, no one is on guard mode here, unlike last time where the salamanders were on guard mode. No one is. Everyone's on hold move mode this time around, so they won't be moving around. But again, the salamanders didn't really do any moving around because they were able to just shoot where they were. <laughs> so it didn't matter that much. 730,000 dead zombie units at this point in time. 162 dead Warhammer units. So right now, every Warhammer unit is surviving versus all of these different zombie units they're they're managing to do this thing no unit has been completely wiped out yet though i think these guys might be the first to go because they've already lost a bunch of their vehicles only four remain which is pretty crazy these dudes over here are doing much much better i think they're probably the stronger tank out of the two yeah by far they're doing better by far the iron hand though is starting to get its cheeks clapped because there's just so many fast zombies over here splitting these guys up making them struggle it's getting tough but we are pretty close to cresting over 1 million kills for the warhammer units that's impressive that is a very quick 1 million kills you don't see that very often uh, undead abominations over here did get the best of most of the uh, salamanders that were on the exterior of the gate but the guys inside the gate are still holding out the salamanders are definitely my favorite space marine legion right now um, blood angels also really cool also the soul drinkers are really cool they're, they're just all so cool they have such cool armor but i really like the the story of the salamanders and just how how they're so respectful of everyone and they love everyone unless you get in the way of that <laughs> And then they will absolutely destroy you. Look at this. Trolls over here getting up and over the side wall this way. That's causing a little bit of a flankening. Um, however, we do have plenty of blood angels on top of the buildings able to sort of be parallel to them and shoot them up that way. So not too big of a deal. The ultramarines over here also on top of the buildings just spraying some seriously high-powered fire over here. This is a, a beautiful thing. Look at that. My goodness. Uh, 9.6 million dead zombies at this point in time. 9.7 million now. It is going up so quickly. Look at this. Giga Chad just spraying and praying. He's probably got tens of thousands of kills. It'd be so cool if you could see how many kills an individual unit has. Like, oh! One Ultramarine just got kicked out of the base. Poor guy. That's that troll swing I was talking about right there. 
Oh, and there we go. One million kills for the uh, Space Marine armies here. Uh, and 295 kills for the attackers. Let's go ahead and time lapse this gate for a little bit because I think it looks sick. Okay, we're at 1.6 million kills now for the Warhammer units. However, 660 kills for the zombie units, which is quite a large amount. It looks like the Salamanders over here have started to take more and more losses, or at the very least are getting pushed further back by the Undead Abominations. Um, and also, yeah, pretty much all of the Iron Hand out here are dead. But the Legion of the Damned is starting to do their shocky boy business with their Warhammer, so hopefully that helps out a little bit. Uh, this tank got pushed into the fortress there, which is kind of interesting. The others kind of pushed around over here. The ones over here are all dead, sadly. Rip, rip to them. But the rest seem to be doing okay. These warhounds and, yeah, most of the Iron Hand dead. The rest are fighting for their lives. I thought these guys were the Black Templar Knights, but you guys corrected me and told me they were the Iron Hand. Unless they're the same thing. And I'm just misunderstanding everything, which is entirely possible. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, just keep correcting me in the comments, because I'm slowly learning. I, my Warhammer knowledge is being birthed before your very eyes, I will say. Wow, look at this. Blood Angels having to deal with horde after horde after horde here. 1.8 million kills for the Warhammer units. 708 kills for the zombie units. It's pandemonium out here. Pandemonium! Ultramarines going clutch over this way. Oh, so cool. And the trolls keep knocking them further back, which is funny. All right, let's go ahead and watch the Blood Angels fight over here for a while and time-lapse this sucker. See if they get pushed back any further. All right, guys, 997 Warhammer units dead, and there we go, now 1,000. So, that was a big landmark right there for the Warhammer units, 2.3 million dead zombies. So there's 4,100 Warhammer units remaining on the battlefield and 6.2 million zombies remaining. <sighs> Things are getting heated. Let's continue to watch, but we're gonna update regularly. Soul Drinkers here, standing nicely against the zombies currently, doing a bang-up job. Over here, the Salamanders have had a major breach now. They seem to be having probably the worst trouble in the interior defenses out of anybody. And that's going to be very problematic. Also, Legion of the Damned seems to be having a bit of a struggle as well over here. But also the trolls, I think, might just be pushing them together. So they might just be getting more and more condensed. But the salamanders over here are dying. <laughs> That's the real problem. Blood angels over this way are starting to fire a little bit more towards the salamanders to try and help them out a little bit more, but kind of a pitiful performance. Maybe the boys are a little bit tired just from the sheer amount of fighting they had to do against the previous five million zombies. But then again, they're space marines. They shouldn't be tiring so easily. They should be able to take on another 20 million zombies. Or something along those lines. I don't know. But things are getting a little bit more difficult for the Space Marines. And uh, at first I thought, wow, they're, they're clapping cheeks. They're making this look easy. And now it's less easy, I would definitely say. Six million zombies remaining is a little bit daunting. And only 3,800 Space Marines remaining. Not a very good sign, I will say myself. All right. I think we should watch the Salamanders here and see if they can hold out because they're starting to get breached pretty bad. Well, the Salamanders here have given a lot of ground. They still do hold some areas of the fort, which is very, very good. However, yeah, this flank now is looking mighty bad as they, they did just lose so much area right there. The Blood Angels! will now be flanked a lot more. The Ultramarines, same story. Legion of the Dam still doing well over this way. Tank there. Um, the tanks out here seem to have died. Re oh no, they just got pushed up this way. Nice, I think they have a lot of health. Well, some of them died because there's only like five. There's a dead one right there. Um, Ultramarines doing poorly. 2,300 soldiers remaining for the Warhammer units. 
Blood Angels seem to be doing the best. Soul Drinkers, I think, are all dead. And the Salamander is obviously dead as well. So the weaker units, I suppose, are what they are. Um, hopefully the Blood Angels, the remaining Ultramarines, and the remaining Legion of the Damned can clutch this up. But right now, it is looking risky. Well, the Blood Angels end up getting overcome pretty quickly after that, and now there's just some Legion of the Damned soldiers over this way. So it's going to be an L for the Warhammer units by far. It's only a matter of time before they glitch their way up here and start getting more kills. 4.5 million zombies remaining, so they killed about half the zombies, almost exactly half the zombies, and the rest remain. Which is crazy, considering the fact that Warhammer tends to be the most overpowered faction in all of Ubes 2. So let's double all their units again, see how they do. All right, boys, we've doubled all of the Warhammer unit numbers now. So we'll see if they can double their kills and win the battle this time around. I've got higher hopes because obviously they're going to be having double the firepower out there. It's gonna keep the zombies at bay for longer. Um, everything except for the tanks, because again, the tanks would create too much lag. So only 10 of each tank. I gotta do it. I'm afraid it, it just gots to be done. Uh, but yeah, lots of spray and pray right now from the Space Marines out to the zombies. I think they can do it this time with double their number of troopers for sure. But let's go ahead and since we've already seen the battle, let's time lapse right off the rip here. Oh yeah. Space Marines found their stride. They now have 2 million kills, only 234 deaths, so clearly they just needed a little bit more firepower in order to deal with the zombie army. But, you know, that there's still 6 million zombies left alive, so... Well, 6.6 .6 million zombies left alive. There's still quite a ways to go, so maybe things will change, but it seems like this is going to be a W for the Warhammer units, finally. Okay, a little bit more loss this time. 665 deaths for the Warhammer units. They're getting pushed more and more towards the center of the fortress, it seems, here. Uh, they still have 10,500 soldiers remaining. So, they still have a sizable force. And they're at 4.6 million zombies remaining. And, as you know, <laughs> they ended up uh, losing last time with 4.5 million zombies remaining. So, they're almost already doing better than they did the last time around. That doesn't mean they can't still lose. There are losses across the battlefield. Some dead soul drinkers over here. I think the Iron Hand has taken losses. Uh, Blood Angels have taken losses. Salamanders have taken losses. I'm sure the Ultramarines, well, maybe they took losses. I don't know. They're, they're deep in here and they're holding them back over this way. So may, maybe not. I'm not entirely sure. But either way, losses across the battlefield at this point in time. But it does seem like they're doing just so much better in this run. So. Let's keep her going. Oh yeah, this for sure going to be the Warhammer W we were looking for. We got 6.5 million dead zombies on the battlefield. Over 2 million remaining. Oh, that's my dog. Sorry about that. 9,600 Warhammer units remaining. Let's time lapse while I go see what my dog is working at. All right. Oh man, that time lapse eventually ended up with a crotch shot as the wall of dead zombies grows. We've got 2,100 dead space marines now, 739,000 remaining zombies. So, yeah, I think the zombies' hopes are kind of getting dashed here. 
I mean, the Warhammer units did win, or did lose the official battle. This one is just for fun, so the official status is a zombie win, um, but at least we get to see Warhammer clutch it up a little bit here. It's not even really clutching it up. We just, we just gave them a lot of troopers, I guess. <laughs> That's kind of what this is, but yeah, let's keep it going until they win. Well, and that's about it. There's 18,000 zombies remaining. I think they're just trickling in. Oh yeah, over this way, they're trickling in into some Iron Hand boys. But overall, it seems as though the Warhammer units did manage to win this battle here with 8,200 soldiers remaining. Though they did have to, uh, you know, bolster their ranks quite a bit in order to get that victory there. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below what other battle ideas you guys have for me in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 or any other game. I'll see you all in the next one, guys. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.